Oh, I can move. I just realized I can move. I thought it was a cutscene. To restart the whole thing, do I? I have no idea. Seriously, guys, I'm gonna get into trouble for not replacing the thing. Not the mystery needs it. We've just had another text in, and this one is from Sarah from Penarth. She says she doesn't understand what all the fuss is about. And if anything, this is just distracting us from the here and now. People should learn to mourn their loved ones rather than just replacing them. That's a bit heavy for this time of day, Sarah. But Richard from Swansea seems to agree with you. He says that the soul cloud is an affront against nature. Hey, steady on, Rich. And here's another one. This time from an anonymous listener. They claim that the soul cloud is ridiculously unstable. And that only a few moments ago, a large number of accounts have been literally wiped out. Okay, that was interesting. It was, once again, it was an incredibly beautiful looking scene, but... In summary, what I was supposed to do is just... It's, it's like a mini-game in which you're trying to... Stop from getting crushed by traffic. Which looks to be randomly generated. While listening to a sort of interview, or not an interview, but someone on the radio talk about the Soul Cloud. And then creepy Saren comes over to your car and then you crash and then that's it? Like, what? That whole section was just a big what? Again, it's beautiful and I like the fact that there's a clip of someone on the radio talking about the sort of the moral issues behind the soul cloud. That was interesting. However, it was really hard to actually really listen to it at all because I'm too busy dodging cars. It didn't really gel together at all. Very strange. But yeah, I like what they're talking about on the radio. The moral issues behind it. Someone was saying that... Or whoever the... The guy talking on the radio was saying that's one of the... I think it was one of the viewers, right? One of the viewers had said... People should mourn their, their loved ones. Properly. Like, mourn their loss rather than just... Sort of keeping them alive forever in the soul cloud. Which is an interesting thought. Is it healthy? If you could do something like this, if you could keep a sort of a version of a loved one alive forever, in a way. You're never really going to mourn their loss, are you? Because you haven't really lost them. Should you? Are they even truly dead? In any meaningful way? Maybe there's no need to mourn them because they aren't actually really dead. Maybe you should and you're just interacting with a fake version of them. And you should mourn their loss, I don't know. I think that was really interesting, it was just so strange that it was told in a scene where you can't really pay attention to what's being said because you're dodging cars. This ground is really lumpy. God, look at it. It's so beautiful. Look at this. I'm just gonna, let me get a good spot, there we go. Just stay there for like 5-10 seconds.
like leaves blowing in the wind. Except they're being generated from a particle emitter. And it's supposed to look like that, of course. It's part of that sort of digital look to everything. It's really cool. I like it. Like crude digital representations of different things. Or instead of actually being... Instead of actually being... F leaves, it's just... Pixels. I wonder if I can fall off. Nope. That's weird. For some reason there is an invisible wall this time instead of an actual barrier. <laughs> Even the water looks kind of all... digital and sort of corrupted. It looks all pixely. Once again, on purpose, I'm sure. It's got this weird sort of like crosshatch thing going on. In loving memory, Astrid Patterson. That must be me, right? Or not in loving memory, Ad Madison Jones. David Ree. Who knows? The life of the dead is placed in the memory of the living. Okay, so is that perhaps how I died? Maybe that's why that whole memory was about dodging cars, because we did, maybe I died in a car accident or something? Oh, it looks like you can replay the radio thing. I mean, if we did die, I mean, if I died in the car and this is sequential, you know, childhood and then street is next, then these further memories wouldn't exist, so... But maybe they're not in sequence. Flying. Fairground. I, yeah, I don't actually know if they're in sequence. They might not be. A school memory. Alright, Saren seems to be infecting my memories. It's funny. The security agent, or whatever you call her, appears to be acting like a virus. Can I open this one? I don't think I can. Nope. Look at all of these desks and chairs are just... so strangely shaped. Very crude. Once again, like... like they're all forged from my memories. My, of course, imperfect memories. Because memory's never perfect, ever. The school halls. Except absolutely massive. Incredibly long. Echo 
goes back, of course. Hmm. Something high school. What does that say? M-A-S. Yeah, it looks like it starts with an M-A-S. Not sure what the rest of it is. Hey, sir. Yeah, screw you too. I'm guessing I need to play that. Bingo. Oh, do I need to do more? Or not? I, I thought maybe saying there's another piece to do, but no, I guess that was it. Okay, that was extremely easy. Uh, sometimes those piano and, you know, replicate a bit of music puzzles can be pretty frustrating, but this one has so few keys, and the melody is so simple that it's that was really simple. What did that actually do, though? It did something to some red things somewhere. I'm guessing I... Well, I have yet to find it, obviously, but I'm guessing I just have to do three separate things to solve the three separate things to make the... Th yeah. Three mini-puzzles, I think. Physics notes. Hm. I don't know what any of that means. I've never taken physics. Velocity equals frequency times wavelength. Mm -hmm. Sure. Well, I know what wavelength is, at least. Hm. Yeah, someone really, really liked science. Computer science, I guess, and other science, too. Well, that means nothing to me. Looks like a brain up there. Cube equals 25 gram, uh, 21 grams equals... Actually, I don't know if that's supposed to be an equals or just more squiggly. I think those are just squigglies. Yeah. Equals 21 grams? I guess they don't know. I would think those cubes would weigh a lot more than 21 grams. They, they look much heavier. 21 grams is really, like, practically nothing. Ooh. Yes, I... Why does the game keep doing that? I know there's a room here, and it's incredibly beautiful. I'm going to explore it on my own. Don't take away control. Don't do that. The art room. Let's see what depressing message awaits us now. A being as wicked and ugly as you cannot be good. Great. Oh, this is one of the puzzles, isn't it? Ew. 
is obviously related to this painting. Do I need to make it match? Can I make it match? How would I? Okay, completed one side. Which side is that? That's the right side. Yeah. Alright, I guess it's dividing it into four separate blocks. A four by three grid. Wait a minute, but... What about the purple, though? Oh. Interesting. I need to make it match both, I guess. Okay, well this one also equals the right side of this painting. So I guess I'll just continue. That, yep. Yeah. Okay, yeah. That's also the proper continuation, yep. This will be the left side, mm hmm. Yep, and then. One more. One more. Oh, wait a minute, hold on. This whole thing needs to be a rotated one. There we go. Okay. Interesting. So it's that whole painting. Yeah, just spread out through a, a 4x3 grid, and then the other one also. It's actually really neat. Hold on, what's around here first? Now my feet are all wet. Another one? I just wanted to read my duck! I love how Saren just keeps popping up. <laughs> Why does she keep hiding inside of things, only to pop out at me? And then all I do is just trap her inside and push her away. First she was in a closet, now she's inside of a locker. What is she going to be in next? Like, is she going to pop out of a trash can? I'm going to walk by and she's just going to pop her head out? Like, what the hell? Doesn't she own this entire place? Doesn't she have basically admin privileges to everything? So why doesn't she just appear in front of me? In fact, she's already done that. She just appeared at the end of the hallway. She obviously doesn't need to hide. Astrid Patterson. Form G? Whatever that means. Let's see. So, 64% in English, which... Eh, that's not all that great. 73% in Welsh. Wait, that's a separate subject? Okay. B. Wait a minute. A 73% is a B? I thought 80 to 89% was a B, and 90 to 100% was an A. I don't know, maybe there's a different grade system or something. It doesn't really matter. 92% math, that's no surprise, she loves it. And I'm sure she's damn good at any sort of physics-related thing or any sort of hard science. Well, okay, maybe not. Biology, she got 67%. 78% in physics, pretty damn good. Chemistry, 64%. IT, 87%, no surprise there, again. 42% in PE. I'm with you there, fuck PE. 62% <laughs> in art. 
55% in drama, and 54% in music. Form Tutor's Notes Astrid is an intelligent, hard-working pupil. If she applied herself in every subject, not just maths, I'm sure she would succeed. I guess she doesn't want to. And I don't blame her. Can't be interested in everything, and if you're not interested in something, it's really hard to care. Oh, hold on, wait a minute. I'm getting ahead of myself. Astronomy. Small book of astronomy. Ast Ron O me. <laughs> Someone likes astronomy to the point where their memory includes books that have nothing but astronomy in massive text on the title. On the cover. Neat. Well, I can imagine what I have to do. Whoa. What the hell? Whoa. Holy crap. Look at that. God, this game is beautiful. Look at Earth. Oh, so tiny. Right, so obviously I have to put them in the correct order. What if I just go off into the distance? I'm actually getting closer to the to the stars. Can I go up and touch them? Oh no, it ends. Look at that, just look at that. Alright, do I need to go back and... take a look at the order of the planets? Which, since I have to either... Yeah, I can't see it while doing the puzzle, so I think I'm gonna have to take a picture of them. If I want this to go at all reasonably fast. Alright, let me... Let me go ahead and take a picture of these, and I do literally mean a picture the fastest way I can think of to do this. I should probably turn off the flash. That might be a good idea. Hmm. Also, I want to turn on macro so it actually focuses properly. Excellent. A little bit over bright, but it should do. I basically just need to see the colors. Okay. Hmm. Actually, this is a pretty crappy picture. But I hope this is usable. Let me cycle through them, see if I can get a match. Hmm. Is that it? I 
don't think so. Crap, now we're back to the beginning. It's actually a really bad picture. Okay, hold on. I'm going to I'm going to figure out a good way to actually get all of the planets in their correct order and I will be right back. All right. If I have taken the pictures correctly and interpreted them correctly, then I should be right at the solution. I think I need to change this to the grayish one and then I should be good. There we go. Okay. Cool. I just activated something somewhere. Now let's go find it. place has been destroyed. Well, maybe not destroyed, but... Oh, hi. Uh, did the duck come out of you? Because if it did, I don't want to touch it. Ew. Oh, you can flush the toilets. I love it when you can flush toilets in games. You will die young. You will be rich. Successful. Dead. Your best friend will betray you, or you will live forever. You will go crazy. You will meet your... Prince? Charming? Yeah. I can't really read upside down. I'm craning my head. Something you will something and then there I see a knife. Good times, good times. Ooh, water distortion. Patterson Twins, Scoop Rises. Twins. Okay. It's interesting, the rest of the words aren't even in English. I don't even know if they're in any language. They might just, they might just be nonsense. I can't tell. Oh, hey. You know, if you actually wanted to, like, kill me, you might want to try to do it, because just being creepy and walking menacingly in my direction and then disappearing is not terribly effective. Notice of detention. Ooh. Callie Patterson, Form G. Mr. D. Johnston, reason for assigning detention was disruptive in class, threatening behavior towards other students. Homework diary has also been covered in graffiti. Ouch. That's probably the final room that I've unlocked. Let's see what's up here, though. Oh. Yeah, I guess I need to do the something in here, and then that will finish it up. I 
Oh, well, here we go. Let there be power. This doesn't look like a good place. Whoa. love the environmental designs so much. Hmm. Looks like I need to form something. But what? Oh, I thought I was going to touch the chandelier thing. Is it related to this? I don't think so. Let's see what I can make. the heck am I going to be making? I have no idea. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Looks like something, kind of. Something I used to have a head, but I just got rid of it. Kinda looks like something. Yeah. But what? I don't know. Like a crane or something, maybe? Oh god, there goes his body. Hmm. I just wonder if you're supposed to just... Attempt to find shapes? You know, ways to combine it into an interesting shape, or if there's something in the environment that would tell you exactly what to do, because I don't see anything from this chandelier thing that tells me what I'm supposed to be making. I guess I'll just keep messing around with it. Alright, let's mess around with it for a few minutes. Well, it's connecting, but it's not connecting into anything meaningful. Hmm. Oh, 
Oh, am I making the M? The M of, what was it, Mystery Industries or whatever the hell it was called? Maybe I am. Yeah. One, two, three. Two. Three. One. Two. Three. One. Two. Three. Mm-hmm. My reward! What is it? So strange. I think these walls are actually... They seem kind of like mirrors. Really weird. Park memory. I guess we're about to see some more trees. Excellent. Oh, it's all frozen. Actually, that's kind of cool. Nice to see a different type of envi environment. Stop laughing at me. Oh, it's a gigantic orange. Or maybe it's a ball. Even if it is, I'm going to pretend it's a gigantic orange. <laughs> really? Laughing at me out of reach? You're not going to be laughing if I throw this gigantic orange at your head. You'll be all sticky. Hold on, let me... let me search around the outskirts first. Ah, glad I did. Where the hell did that noise just come from? It sounded like it came from everywhere. Okay. Let's be uplifted again. In this dominion, I am the demonic ruler. All creating, all consuming. You are my helpless toy in this false consciousness. Are those messages from Saren? Let's go playing! Oh. <laughs> what? Interesting. How... D uh, okay. Here, what are you doing up there? I can't reach it. Hi. 
I don't think they normally operate that way, but okay. And now we should be able to reach it. We Got it? I Did I get it? Yeah, I did. Okay. Now I have someone to play with. Or not. I just want a heavy block. I see you up there. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that. Hmm. What the hell? Did she just run at about a thousand miles per hour? Okay. Gonna tire yourself out if you keep doing that. What the? Oh, there's gotta be an order to this. The heck? <laughs> what am I even supposed to be doing with this? I guess I need to power these horses. But how do I get the power to them? Oh, hello. David Reed. That was one of the other names on the, the tombstone. See you tomorrow, lovely. Night, night. Where are you? We were meeting in the park, right? Over by the swings. I see you. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna read LOL out loud, because you sound like an idiot. Can I grab onto the monkey bars or whatever they're called? Doesn't seem like I can. Strange, you think I'd be able to? Hmm. I'm not entirely sure where to go from here. It looks like I need to maybe launch that block up to hit that thing, maybe. I mean, there's a piece floating up there, there's a piece in there, there's a piece up there. There's a thing and a thing up there. There's a thing in here, but what do I do? I don't even know what that's about. What am I missing? Like, why can't I just grab onto these bars and just... go grab it? And I've set the block down here, so why can't I launch it? Uh... <laughs> 
What if I'm missing an item? Take a look around. Jesus! <laughs> what was that? The, the power of the crow. <laughs> I felt like something that belonged in Indigo Prophecy. <laughs> of course you put the thing in the tree and it causes a crow to caw and then it causes a thing to explode. <laughs> <laughs> that was comical. I kind of love it. <laughs> okay. And that's great and all, but it doesn't really get the other ones. There's still three others I can see. Actually, how many more do I need? Yeah, I guess three. Uh, it's pretty obvious that this block is going to hit that thing up there. But how do I make it go? Alright, that one goes through the center one. This one also goes through the center one. This one goes through the right one. How does it matter, though? It doesn't seem to change a thing. I don't know. Back to searching for items out here. Or things to press blocks into to make things explode. That's always fun. Looks like that's it. I don't think I saw you before. What the? Okay, a attention four times? Four times times? Four times what? Time times four, or just four times. Four, four times what? I, I don't really know how to apply that. I could do one four times. But which one? Actually, wait a minute, you can't even do... Oh no, you can't do the same one again. You just have to wait a little bit. In fact, it takes so long that it looks like there's a cooldown. So I'm guessing you are supposed to do them in order, because the first one you do is locked down for a little bit. Even when it comes back up, like right here, I can't use it again, but I can use this one. Alright, hello everyone. I'm talking now from the future of the video that you're currently watching because this is a little bit of post-commentary. Because the last comment you just heard me saying about the horses and trying to figure out that puzzle... Well, that was the last thing I said before my audio recording software, which is Audacity, for some reason stopped recording. And I have no idea why. 
So the last, what is it, 10 minutes or so of the video has no audio of me talking. So I was trying to figure out what the hell to do with this, and I figured the best thing is to just say that's what happened, and then just leave the rest of the video for you to watch, which is going to be a little bit awkward, because... Well, I'm going to be staring at stuff and talking, but you won't be able to hear it. So it's going to be kind of strange, but at least you can actually see what happened. So I think it's about the best I can do. Alternatively, I could awkwardly try to post-commentate over the entire thing, but I don't know how to do post-commentaries. So I'm not going to do that. So yeah, enjoy the remaining awkward 10 minutes or so, and hopefully this problem doesn't happen again.